a piston on 800 mm diameter and 200 mm length, length was inside the cylinder of 804 mm diameter if the annular space is filled with a surrounding oil of viscosity 5 centipoise then find the speed of the piston vertically downward direction take weight of the piston acting is nothing but 9.42 newton first draw the figure here this is the piston piston present inside the cylinder okay weight acting downward annular space is filled with a oil of viscosity 5 centipoise clear yeah. diameter is nothing but this is 800 mm what is the diameter of cylinder 804 mm length of the cylinder is nothing but l equals to 200 mm after that viscosity of the oil equivalence to 5 centi poison people call 5 centi poise equivalence to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 poise we already know that 1 poise equivalence to 0.1 newton second per meter square okay here it is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 10 to the power of minus 1 newton second per meter square 5 into 10 power minus 3 pascal second this is viscosity of the oil present in the annular space between piston and cylinder they are asking what is the velocity okay so first from newtonian law newtonian law again tau equals to mu into du by dy du by dy okay here tau equals to mu into v by y this is the linearization of velocity profile here y equals to capital d minus small d by 2 okay here this is small d and capital d y is nothing but radial clearance you can call it as h or y okay so here y equals to 804 minus 800 by 2 this is nothing but 2 mm y equals to 2 mm now here you can write f by a is equal to mu into v by y here f equals to mu into v by y into area what is the area here pi d l pi d l okay so what is w here load is acting now this is load of the cylinder is nothing but shear force shear force w equals to mu into v by y pi dl 
ठीक है सो वट इज द लोड टेल मी डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट फोर टू ना नाइन पॉइंट फोर टू न्यूटन जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट एवरीथिंग हिया नाइन पॉइंट फोर टू न्यूटन दिस इज फाइव इंटू टेन पॉवर माइनस थ्री लास्ट इज वी बाय टू इंटू टेन पॉवर माइनस थ्री इट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर इट इज न्यूटन सेकेंड पर मीटर स्क्वायर इंटू v by 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter into pi d is nothing but 0.8 into 0.2 meter square finally velocity v equal to dash meter per second calculate and tell me what is the answer Or the question here, uh, load F is nothing but nine point four two eight nine four. Finally, we'll get V equals to seven point five seven point five meter per second. The answer is seven point five meter per second. This is question number one in the plate. Okay, next question number one. I repeat the question. A piston of eight hundred mm diameter and two hundred mm length was inside the cylinder of eight not four mm diameter. If the annular space is filled with a surrounding fluid. Uh, lubricating oil of viscosity five centipoise. Then find the speed of the piston in vertically downward direction. Take weight of the piston acting as a load equal to nine point four to newton. Finally, the velocity v equal to seven point five meter per second. I took a cylinder like this. Uh, this is the cylinder piston. Annular space is filled with the oil of viscosity by centipoise. We should know how to convert centipoise into pascal second. Okay. Next up, uh, this is the radial clearance. Y is nothing but radial clearance. After that, tau equals to you know tau equal to y by y mu into v by y. Next, f equals to mu into v by y into y. Y is nothing but surface area. Phi dl mu is phi into ten power minus three. V and y is the radial clearance. Phi dl equals to nine point four two. It is acting as a shear shear force. Now, finally, after doing calculation, the velocity equals to seven point five meter per second. Take okay. Next question number two. Read the question carefully. Question number two. Find the viscosity of oil as shown in figure. See. This is the viscosity. This is oil. One block. One block is this. 
weight of the block is w it is coming down with the velocity v of course it is theta okay from here to here it will be some h clear weight always act vertically downward direction then it is theta here it will be theta w cos theta and w sin theta here w sin theta is acting as a shear force now your area of cross section is a okay now see here tau equals to mu into du by dy tau equals to mu into v by y here f by a equals to mu into v by y here f is equal to mu into v by h into y here f equals to this is f is the shear force equals to w sin theta this is w sin theta equals to mu into v by h into y what is asking viscosity of oil find the viscosity of oil mu equal to w sin theta into h by v y okay so area of cross section area of the thing contact area okay you need to give finally mu equals to w sin theta into h by v y this is the expression to determine viscosity of the oil viscosity of the oil okay now write down the given data what is w here what is the magnitude of w is given 130 kilo newton na this much okay what is the value of w 130 kilo newton next next y equals to 0.5 cm then v equal to 0.5 meter per second okay it is too much 130 kilo newton is too much no issue theta is equal to 30 degrees theta equal to 30 degrees f it is the case just remove k kilo newton impossible task okay here mu equals to 130 newton sin 30 into this is how much h is nothing but 0.5 into 10 power minus 2 meter by 0.5 meter per second into area is nothing but area a is equal to 1 meter square 1 meter square convert everything in terms of SI units, sir. Okay. Finally, what is this? Tell me. It is seventy-five, na? How much is this? No, no, sixty-five. It is sixty-five into point five. Point five gets cancelled out. Ten power minus two. Ten power minus two newton second per meter square. So finally, mu is equal to. Point six five. Here, what we will get it? Point six five newton second per meter square. This is viscosity of oil. Okay, just to take correction. W equal to one thirty newton. Question number two. Next.
फास्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली द फ्लूड ओबेइंग द इक्वेशन टाउ इक्वल टू टाउ नॉट प्लस के इनटू डीयू बाय डी बाय वॉल पॉवर वन बाय टू इज हेल्ड बिटवीन टू पैरेलल प्लेट्स द डिस डी डिस्टेंस अपार्ट इफ द स्ट्रेस अप्लाई टू टॉप प्लेट इज थ्री टाउ नॉट then velocity with which the plate will move theek okay? hai first read the question carefully ki yeah, aap this is the setup this plate is fixed here fluid obeying the equation tau equals to tau not plus k into du by dy whole power 1 by 2 next is held between two parallel plates is held between this is the fluid fluid held between two parallel plates parallel plates next d distance apart the distance between two parallel plates is d this is the fluid fluid plate 1 plate 2 top plate and bottom plate or bottom plate okay now distance apart top plate if the stress applied to the top plate here it is moving with the velocity v and stress applied on the top plate is 3 tau not okay so tau on the top plate stress applied on the top plate is 3 tau not now they are asking velocity with which the plate will move the velocity with which the plate will move your yeah, velocity v equal to velocity Velocity with which the plate will move. ठीक है? So they are asking here. Understood the setup? Top plate and bottom plate. Top plate and bottom plate. in between uh, we filled the fluid fluid obeys this equation then we applied the stress of 3 tau not on the top plate then what is the velocity of the top plate okay so we need to calculate velocity which with the top plate will move okay so here tau equals to 3 tau not ठीक है tau equals to tau not plus k into v by d is equals to tau not plus k into v by d all power 1 by 2 okay dy actually v by y linearization of velocity profile now y equals to d distance between uh, that particular thing Two parallel plates. Okay, so power one by two. Tau is nothing but three tau naught equals to tau naught plus k into v by d whole power one by two. Here two tau naught equals to k into v by d one by two. Here two tau naught by k. All square is equal to v by d. Finally, you will get four into tau square by k square into d is equal to v. The velocity with which the uh, top plate will move. The velocity with which the top plate will move v equals to 
फोर इंटू टाउ नॉट स्क्वायर डी बाय के स्क्वायर दिस इज दर दिस इज दिलासिटी विथ विच द टॉप प्लेट विल मूव ठीक है two plates and uh, some fluid is filled in between two parallel plates then we applied three tau not stress on the top plate okay they gave uh, this particular thing equation this equation obeys by the fluid okay so this is for fluid this is for fluid okay Now just a substitute at tau equal to three tau naught, then two tau naught you will get it. Finally, you will get V is equal to four tau naught square d by k square. Write down up to here. Question number three. Anyone? No one. Next. Question number four. Next slide, huh? Complete, huh? Nah? It's very simple. Next step. क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर नाउ रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली कैनमैटिक विस्कोसिटी ऑफ गैस एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड कैनमैटिक viscosity of gas at 20 degree centigrade equivalent to 1.6 ten power minus 5 meter square per second okay next then the kinematic viscosity at then the kinematic viscosity at 70 degree centigrade that is the question question option a 1.6 ten power minus 5 option b 1.2 ten power minus 5 option c 1 into ten power minus 5 Option D, two point two ten power minus five. In terms of meter square per second, meter square per second, meter square per second. This is also meter square per second. Okay. Now, just read the thing. Viscosity solution. Temperature, temperature T one is equal to me twenty degree centigrade. T two is equal to seventy degree centigrade. What is the viscosity? Kinematic viscosity equal to mu one by mu one by rho. Okay, gas. Kinematic viscosity V one equal to how much is given? 1.6 into 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. They are asking V2 dash meter square per second. Okay. We know that for gases, for gases, molecular 
मोमेंटम ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर इज प्रिडोमिनेंट प्रिडोमिनेंट देन बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर मॉलिकुलर मोमेंटम ट्रांसफर मोमेंटम ट्रांसफॉर्म इंक्रीजेस इंक्रीजेस देन विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ गैसेस इंक्रीजेस ओके बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ गैसेस इंक्रीजेस ओके सो बाय Here initially twenty degrees, one point six. That means viscosity, kinematic viscosity at seventy degrees centigrade. It should be more than the one point six. It should not be one point six. It should not be below one point six. It is also below this equation only giving. More than one point six. Okay, so by increasing temperature, viscosity of gases increases. Okay, that is the thing. Clear or not? By increasing temperature, viscosity of gases increases. This is temperature. This is viscosity increases. Okay, so this is the curve. Okay. That means the viscosity at seventy degrees must be higher than the viscosity at twenty degrees. Uh, okay, compare. Just observe the options among these four values. Uh, this value is higher than one point six into ten power minus five. Then the answer is two point two into ten power minus five. ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दट मीन्स हिया टेनामेटिक विस्कॉस्ट इज इक्वल टू म्यू बाय रो Mu is dynamic viscosity. Mu is kinematic viscosity. Next, read on question number five. What? Hari Krishna. Yeah, good, good. Question number five. She has just developed in a lubricating oil of viscosity point nine eight one poise, filled between two parallel plates. One centimeter apart, moving with the velocity of two meter per second. Okay, na he is asking the magnitude of shear stress developed in the lubricating oil. Okay, two parallel plates. It is simple question only. Two parallel plates. Now here they give ah uh, in between na some fluid is there. Two parallel plates. In between the parallel plates, some fluid. What is the mu of the fluid? Point nine eight one poise. Okay. Next. Now plate. Now this is two meter per second. Two meter per second. One centimeter apart. This is one centimeter apart. Clear? 
shear stress developed in the lubricating oil of viscosity is filled between the two parallel plates 1 cm apart moving with velocity of 2 meter per second okay now he is asking shear stress it is not a million dollar question it is a simple only tau equals to mu into du by dy here mu into v by y tau equals to mu into v by y equal to mu v is nothing but this fluid of course for fluid only 0 0.981 10 to the power of minus 1 newton second per meter square 0 0.981 10 to the power of minus 1 newton second per meter square then v is nothing but 2 meter per second 2 meter per second by 1 centimeter 1 into 10 power minus 2 meter finally how much you people will get tell me thus how much is this tau equals to just to cancel all the units finally you will get newton per meter square this is how much here 9.81 19.6 i guess okay so 9.81 into 2 so tau equals to okay 19.62 newton per meter square this is the shear stress okay to parallel plates here these plates are moving with velocity 2 meter per second this is the shear okay then the distance between two parallel plates 1 centimeter u equal to this then just apply newtonian law and linearization of velocity profile okay finally you will get shear stress developed in the oil or fluid okay tau equals to 19.62 newton per meter square next question number six Question number again. Yeah, it is a little interesting question. The velocity distribution. Hmm? Okay. How many? Good, good. Oh, sure. oh, wait a second. Yeah, see question number six. The velocity distribution over a flat plate is given by u equal to three by four y minus y square. The shear stress at a location 0.3 meter above the plate is K times the shear stress at a location 0.2 meter above the plate. Then the value of K is okay here the velocity distribution over the plate. Okay, see this is the plate. velocity distribution over the plate okay so here see take velocity profile is given as 3 by 4 y minus y square take it now this is the velocity profile plate this is the plate plate now he has given shear stress at a location 0.3 meter above the plate 
या पॉइंट थ्री मीटर पॉइंट थ्री मीटर अब द प्लेट इज टन नेक्स्ट की टाइम्स शेयर स्ट्रेस एट लोकेशन पॉइंट टू मीटर अब द प्लेट दिस इज पॉइंट टू मीटर अब द प्लेट इज टू टू क्लियर now at at this is you can take y this is y at y is equal to 0.3 meter is k times now at y is equal to 0.2 meter okay we know that tau equals to mu into du by dy okay so here tau equal to mu into du by dy yet y is equal to 0.3 meter is k times mu into du by dy at y equals to 0.2 meter now so what is du by dy from here tell me du by dy equals to 3 by 4 minus 2y. Okay, it is equivalent to mu into 3 by 4 minus 2y. Correct na? 3 by 4 minus 2y. Mu into this is 3 by 4 minus 2y. Here at y equal to point 3 meter equivalent to k mu. 3 by 4 minus 2y at y is equal to point to meter. Now mu mu gets cancelled out. Just substitute mu into 3 by 4 minus 2 into point 3 meter equals to k times mu. 3 by 4 minus 2 into 0.2 meter. Now mu mu gets cancelled out. 3 by 4 minus 0.6 equals to k. 3 by 4 minus 0.4. How much you will get it? 3 by 4 in the sense 0.75 na. Hmm? How much is this? Finally, how much you will get? Tell me. This is point seven five minus point six k into point seven five minus point four. Here, this is five point one five equals to k point three five. Then k equals to fifteen by thirty five. This is how much? Five three ja, five seven ja. K K is equal to three by seven. Beautiful. See again. Super question. Now, next. So they give velocity profile. Over the flat plate, then they give one condition. Okay, shear stress at location y equal to point three, or the shear stress at location above the plate is nothing but uh, at y equal to point three is nothing but that is tau is k times shear stress at location y equal to point two. Just we substituted. Finally, we got k equals to three by seven. Next question number seven.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ए पिस्टन ऑफ सिक्सटी एम एम डैम मूव इन साइड द सिलिंडर ऑफ सिक्सटी पॉइंट वन एम एम डैम मीटर determine the percentage decrease in force necessary to move this piston within the lubricant is heated from 0 degree centigrade to 120 degree centigrade then here mu at 0 degree centigrade is 0.082 pascal second and mu at 120 degree centigrade is 0.00206 pascal second okay mu inside the cylinder okay here yeah. this is the piston piston and piston see cylinder piston moves inside the cylinder some oil you kept in the clearance this is the thing oil it is nothing but small d small d and capital d capital d so oil this is the oil with viscosity mu okay so here it is moving piston is moving inside the cylinder okay then here mu at 20 degree centigrade is nothing but mu1 equivalent to how much is this no 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 first initially 0 degree centigrade ठीक है इनिशियली जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पॉइंट जीरो वन एट टू न्यूटन सेकेंड पा मीटर स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ ऑयल न्यू एट वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड करेक्ट ना न्यू एट वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इज इक्वल टू Mu to equal to how much is this? Point zero zero two zero six newton second pa meter square. Point zero zero two zero six newton second pa meter square. Here they are asking percentage decrease in the force by increasing temperature. Okay, by increasing temperature, viscosity decreases. Viscosity decreases, then shear stresses decreases, then shear forces also decreases. Now we need to calculate percentage decrease in the force. Okay, by increasing the temperature from zero degree centigrade to one twenty degree centigrade. Here tau equals to mu into du by dy. Is equal to mu into v by y. Everything is same. Okay, the system now velocity, clearance, everything is same. What is the clearance here? D minus d by two. Okay, velocity is same, clearance is same. Okay, now only varying is what? Viscosity. Yeah, by a equal to mu into v by y. Finally, F equals to mu into v by y into y. Here, F is directly proportional to mu. F is directly proportional to mu. 
viscosity increases here uh, by increasing the temperature viscosity decreases then force also decreases we need to calculate percentage decrease in the force here from here f2 by f1 is equal to mu2 by u1 yeah percentage decrease in force is equal to df by f is nothing but percentage decrease in force this is original f final minus f initial f original by f original okay is nothing but f2 minus f1 by f1 okay here percentage decrease in force is nothing but f2 by f1 minus 1 is equal to mu2 by mu1 minus 1 finally percentage decrease in force is how much equal to 0 0.00206 by 0 0.0182 minus 1 then you will get percentage decrease in force equal to dash just calculate and tell me what is the percentage decrease in force here you will get 88.68 percent 88.68 percent okay eighty-eight point six eight percent then question number eight now question number eight Question number eight. It is very interesting question. Question number eight. Though a very narrow gap of height h, a thin plate is pulled at a velocity v one side of the plate okay the oil of viscosity mu1 and the other side there is a oil of viscosity mu2 as yeah, shown in the figure then the value of y when shear stress on two sides of the plate is equal the pull required to drag the plate is minimum okay so it is very nice question see first read the question carefully here though a through a very narrow gap of height h okay so a very narrow gap this is a narrow gap it is a narrow gap of height height h height h and then a plate is pulled okay a plate is pulled with a velocity v okay it is at a distance y from the lower plate and one side of the plate is filled with the fluid mu1 
another side it is filled with the fluid mu to this is narrow gap this particular thing is narrow gap okay plate is pulled with the velocity okay mu 1 and mu 2 okay so here if you pull like this here f1 and some f2 will be shear force on the plate in between the fluid okay some shear will occur between the fluid and this particular plate that is f2 with the above fluid and below f1 okay here f1 equivalence to mu1 into du by dy equivalence to mu1 into v by y now f2 is equal to mu2 into du by d by here mu2 into v by so from here to here is how much from here to here it is y from here to here h minus y this is y and this will be h minus y correct now correct or not in between these two mu2 is the fluid v is the velocity of the plate and what is the clearance here h minus y okay so they are asking uh, they are they have given one condition that write down the condition write down the condition shear force on two sides of the plate are equal okay now shear force on two sides of the plate are equal here it is a a this is a a tau 2 is equal to f2 by a okay correct now tau 1 is equal to f1 by a tau 2 equal to f2 by a then tau 1 equal to this correct now shear shear force on both sides of the plate plate or equal okay this is the condition given f1 equals to f2 f1 is nothing but from here f1 is equal to mu1 into a v by y from here f2 is equal to mu2 into a v by h minus y now here mu1 a into v by y mu2 into a into v by h minus y now mu1 by y is equal to mu2 by h minus y now it's up to you h minus y by y equal to mu2 by mu1 h by y minus 1 is equal to mu2 by mu1 h by y is equal to mu2 by mu1 plus 1 finally y is equal to h by mu2 plus mu1 this is the thing h equal to now y is equal to h into mu1 by mu2 plus mu1 okay shear force on both sides of the plate are equal in that case what is the value of y okay now this is condition number one condition one write down up to here 
we need to calculate the value of y when shear force on both sides of the plate are equal in that case what is the value of y y equal to how much you are getting y equal to h into mu1 by mu2 plus mu1 next right now next condition is what what is the value of y when the drag force is minimum total drag on the plate is minimum in that case what is the value of y here we are having two cases one is shear force on both sides of the plate are equal second case total drag drag force on the plate is minimum in that case what is the value of y write down up to here it is very simple a narrow gap is there okay fluid is filled like this one plate is moving with the velocity v above the plate okay is filled with the fluid with viscosity mu2 below the plate is filled with the fluid with viscosity mu1 then he gave one condition okay now the plate is at a distance y from the low bottom y from the bottom okay so they are asking what is the value of y when shear force on both sides of the plate are equal okay that is one condition okay now at what distance you need to keep the plate in order to get a condition that say shear force on both sides of the plates are equal okay so y equivalence to h into mu1 by mu2 plus mu1 now condition 2 condition 2 total drag force is minimum total drag force is minimum f total drag equivalence to f1 plus f2 mu1 into v by y plus mu2 into v by h minus y this is f total drag force f total drag force we know that f1 is equivalence to mu1 into v by y what is f2 tell me u2 into v by h minus y here we need to take uh, areas yeah we are missing it okay so that is the thing. now for getting for getting minimum value of drag force minimum value of drag force is nothing but we need to do df total by dy equals to 0 total drag okay d by dy of tell me mu 1 a v by y plus mu 2 a v by h minus y is equals to 0 now see here minus mu 1 into a v by y square next here what you will get tell me mu 2 into a here minus v by h minus y whole square Into minus one. 
ठीक है दैट इज अ डिफरेंशिएशन ठीक है सो फर्स्ट म्यू वन इन टू ए यूर माइनस वन बाय वाई स्क्वायर यू विल गेट इट प्लस म्यू टू इन टू ए यूर माइनस वी बाय एच माइनस वाई वॉल स्क्वायर एंड अगेन डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ एच माइनस वाई यू विल गेट माइनस वन इक्वलेंस टू जीरो नाउ माइनस म्यू वन इन टू ए वी बाय वाई स्क्वायर प्लस म्यू टू इन टू ए वी बाय एच माइनस वाई ओल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो देन ए वी ए वी गेट्स कैंसल्ड आउट फाइनली म्यू टू बाय एच माइनस वाई ओल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू म्यू टू बाय एच माइनस वाई ओल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू म्यू वन बाय वाई स्क्वायर ठीक है सो नाउ ही आ म्यू टू बाय म्यू वन इज इक्वल टू एच माइनस वाई बाय वाई ओल स्क्वायर करेक्ट ना फाइनली विल गेट यार एच माइनस वाई बाय वाई इक्वलेंस टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ म्यू टू बाय म्यू वन एच बाय वाई माइनस वन is nothing but h by y equal to square root of mu2 by mu1 plus 1 y is equal to h into square root of mu1 by mu1 by square root of mu2 plus square root of mu1 correct na that is the thing okay now y equal to h square root of this this is at at what y at minimum drag force okay